demonstrate is how you sync translations with machine translation. So if you click the sync translations button, we run through syncing the content. The content is now pulled out of the nodes uh, inside of Drupal. It is sent up to LingoTalk. We run through a machine translation engine and translation memories. Um, and then when that content is done, we then replace it back into uh, into the Drupal uh, or Kickstart, Commerce Kickstart uh, instance. And you can now see that if you go to a particular page, um, you have uh, your languages that you've uh, here. So you can see that we're on the English page here. Um, this is the automatic machine translation. Um, not necessarily the best place to put the language bar, but this is kind of a default header bar in here. Um, but if you click on the English, uh, you can see the English version of the site. And then if you click on the German, you can see that this page now has been manipulated. So you can see that by simply uh, you know, installing the module, and syncing the translation with machine translation, you can get yourself up and running in the matter of minutes uh, in different languages. And Calvin, uh, if I could interrupt at that point, yeah, just to absolutely. add that, that the um, the language switcher block that you see where the languages are listed, that's something that you also have to turn on yourself, and you can control the placement of it in a, into any of the block regions. So yeah. you, you're not actually able to switch the languages on your site without that language switcher block, so make sure that's one of the steps. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, pointing that out. And, and as you guys know, that the language switcher block, you can go under uh, uh, in your guys' site settings, right, and do the block configurations. Um, but this could, the, the language switcher can be placed uh, in any regions or any of the areas. Thank you, Robert. That's a good point. Okay, so this machine, this has now been machine translated.